my Christmas mantle garland. Every year I like to share with you how I'm decorating my mantle, which is actually just a really large bookcase. In fact, it actually comes to about here on me, um, and it's sort of, it's not quite the focal point of the room, but when you're sitting on the couch, you're kind of looking at it. So it's kind of a focal point. Um, and I treat it as my mantle, so I like to decorate it up for each of the seasons. And Christmas, of course, is no different. So I'm gonna share with you how I inexpensively put all of this together, and hopefully you'll get a couple ideas. I know when you see this video, most people have already finished their decorating for Christmas because it's in a few days. However, um, I know that some of these videos get picked up in the following years and I also just kind of want to document it for myself so that I have those memories to look back on and see how I did things year to year. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So this is a look at this year's mantle. I sort of wanted to go with kind of a winter wonderland frosty kind of look. As you can see, this is a really large bookcase, and in relation to the room, I have a large window here. And then we have our armoire right here. This is where our television is, a tree, and then we head on out into the hallway. This year, I decided to get a new garland. This garland is a flocked garland. It came from Joanne Fabrics. It was originally $15, but I actually picked it up for $7.50. It was 50% off. Now, the garland itself was very skinny, so I just doubled it in half to give it more of this thicker look. Now, when you are doing anything with a faux tree or a faux garland, you want to make sure to fluff your pieces. There's nothing sadder to me than an unfluffed Christmas tree or an unfluffed garland. So all you're just going to do is pull your branches apart. You want it to look as natural as possible, as natural as, you know, fake garland can look in a person's house. But definitely do not skip this step. It takes just a few minutes. Um, if you have a lot of garland to do, I would recommend putting on a pair of inexpensive gloves and just using those because sometimes these branches can be a little irritating to the skin. Next I added a strand of Christmas lights. So these are just regular warm lights that you can find at Walmart or Hobby Lobby, any of the stores that carry Christmas decorations. These were just about a couple dollars for a hundred foot strand. And I wove it into the garland. I did my best to kind of tuck in as much as possible so that you don't see the green string. Next, I added this gold glittered mesh ribbon. This, this ribbon is wired, so it holds its shape. And I actually picked it up at Michael's craft store last year on after Christmas clearance. It was probably just a dollar or two. You can find a lot of ribbon at this time of year at really, really great prices. Um, I tend to wait till it's at least 60 or 70% off to get the ribbon that I would like, and I always seem to find something that will work with my decor. Now with my ribbon this year, I just allowed it to really naturally kind of just tuck in to the garland itself. I did not twist very much at all. Um, I just kind of let it unroll from the rib from the spool itself and then just kind of tucked it and laid it on top of the garland. Now I added some snowflakes to my garland last year and I loved the look so much that I decided to go again with it this year. These large snowflakes came from Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago um, and I just simply tuck them right in to the garland itself. The um, snowflakes just stick right in and they hold very well. Um, so what I did is I put one at the end, I stuck another one on the other end, and then what I sort of did is I, I added another one on each side here, and one in the middle, and then in between these two snowflakes I added one on the bottom. And again all I did was just kind of tuck it up into the garland itself and it holds. And then I have another one here. So it kind of goes outer edges, down, up, 
down, up, and then the ones on the end. So I'm all about inexpensive decor, and I think that you can find some beautiful things at places like the Dollar Tree. And in fact, that is where all of these balls came from. They have these great tubes of ornaments, and I love to snag them up at the beginning of the season because they tend to sell out at my Dollar Tree. Um, and I found these kind of gold champagne balls. They're not a true gold. They are a bit more of a, uh, between a, a yellow and a champagne kind of color. And then I added a couple of these snowflake balls into the garland as well. The glitter balls are my absolute favorite. I just love how they catch the light. And I love that these snowflake ones kind of play off of the snowflakes um, in the garland. I have three of the snowflake gar balls and I just kind of stuck one, one on this side of the garland, one on the far side, and then one in the middle. Just so that it's kind of symmetrical as much as possible without looking too overdone. And then I just added some gold glitter balls in throughout. And that's about it for what I did for the actual garland itself. Now let's just take a look at the rest of the decor on the top of my bookshelf. So this piece in the back is actually something I have had for years and years and years. I probably had it 12 years. On the other side is actually painted a very rustic American flag. And because it just didn't go with my decor all of the time, I was struggling on where just to tuck this away in my house. So I decided to chalk paint the back side and add it into my regular decor. So I put this up for my fall mantle um, and then I decided to use it as the backdrop for my Christmas mantle. So I just used some chalk paint that I got from Michaels and I just dry brushed on to the wood just kind of give it sort of a rustic look. Next I found this wreath at Home Sense here in Canada. Um, it's the same store as Home Goods in the States. You could probably find something very similar at, um, you know, Winners, Marshalls, even Michaels and Hobby Lobby probably have sort of these frosted um, grapevine wreaths. Uh, there's some faux pine cones in it. This was only $25 and quite a steal compared to some of the other wreaths I was seeing that were more like $40 and um, so I snagged that up. I had a gift card that I had from Christmas last year that I hung on to and was able to pick up a few things this year for my Christmas decor. So this piece right here is something that I picked up last year for my Christmas decor and if you saw my um, garland video from last year you will know that this was sort of the centerpiece of my kind of mantle look last year. I love, 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 love this piece. It is probably one of my favorite Christmas decorations. It's um, one of these cardboard houses. It's got the frosty trees. It does actually light up. Now one thing that I do with some of my pieces here on my mantle, that a tip that I will pass along, is that things can get very um, lost in this sort of a space. So what I do is I actually lift up a lot of the pieces onto little risers. And what I did with this one, this is actually a sign that I have that I kind of move around um, my house, but I had taken it down for my Christmas decor. So I just stuck it underneath of the house to give it a bit of lift so that you could see it over the garland. Then I picked up these wooden, sort of frosty looking uh, pine trees from Home Sense as well. I also saw them at TJ Maxx in the States. I think they were $16.99. Let's see. Yes. <laughs> they're very, they're, they're nice and heavy. Um, and again, like I said, I had saved a gift card to pick up Christmas decor that I got for Christmas last year um, and I used it just to find the perfect thing. So I ended up getting two of those and I flanked the mantle with those. And then I got this frosty tree from TJ Maxx. As you can tell, I really love frosted things. Flocked, I guess I should say flocked. <laughs> Um, and I loved how this pot, or how this tree was in this um, 
faux birch pot. We have birch trees in my backyard and they're just always so beautiful. Now this tree was about the same height as this and I wanted to fill the space a bit more. So I just flipped over a crock that I use in my regular decor, flipped it over and used it as a stand to put the tree on. And lastly, because I cannot go without having a Scentsy Warmer in my home, I have used this green hand-blown glass Scentsy Warmer. The base of this warmer is like a faux birch, and it's also on a stand as well, so it's kind of lifted up off of the bookcase so you can see it a bit more. You can kind of see that the glass is actually a green color, and it mimics the green in the garland as well as the green here in the trees and the green in my um, my wreath as well. So it just kind of all blended in perfectly. Another feature that I added this year was actually to hang our Christmas stockings. I have never done this before. Um, usually I just pull them out on Christmas Eve so that Santa can fill them up with some goodies. Um, but I decided to hang them up this year, and I really love how they turned out. Now, I do have an entire video on my channel, a quick craft project on how I kind of decorated these. I'll give you the quick tutorial here. I found these um, metal letters from Michael's Craft Store about a year or so ago with the intent of hanging them on our stockings. They were kind of a brick red, and I painted them black. I added a varnish just to protect the paint. Um, we always had the jingle bells on the stockings, so I left those on, and then I tied a big red bow on each stocking. And of course, each of the hanging letters signifies um, each of our names. And then I have some fabric candy canes just hanging out of each stocking, my sister-in-law, and I made those a couple of years ago. The stockings were something that I picked up um, gosh, probably nine years ago, um, even before we had kiddos. They were on an after Christmas special. They were probably around $2 each, and I just love the simplicity of them. So here's another look at everything all together. watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please leave me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And I always love to hear from you, so if you want to leave a comment down below, that it just makes my day. And I appreciate and love getting to know you guys better. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas, and I'll see you in my next video.